नमस्कार वेलकम टू सावरकर आई ए एस स्टडी सर्कल एन एक्टिविटी ऑफ स्वतंत्रवीर सावरकर राष्ट्रीय स्मारक दादर मुंबई हियर वी आर हैविंग कोचिंग फॉर यूपीएससी सिविल सर्विसेस एग्जामिनेशन्स एम पी एस सी सिविल सर्विसेस एग्जामिनेशन्स कंबाइंड डिफेन्स सर्विसेस एग्जामिनेशन एंड नैशनल डिफेन्स अकेडमी एंट्रन्स टेस्ट सो हेन्सफोर्थ आई विल नॉट टेक एंटायर नेम जस्ट आई विल से यू पी एस सी एम पी एस सी सी डी एस एंड एन डी ए इन दैट केस ना वॉट एवर द एग्जाम फर्स्ट लेट अस अंडरस्टैंड द पैटर्न ऑफ एग्जाम सो फॉर यू पी एस सी एंड एम पी एस सी देर आर थ्री स्टेजेस फर्स्ट स्टेज दैट इज कॉल्ड एज प्रिलिमिनरी एग्जामिनेशन विच इज ओनली मल्टीपल चॉइस क्वेश्चन बेस्ड दैट इज ऑब्जेक्टिव ए बी सी डी आउट ऑफ दैट वेर टू क्लिक एनी वन ऑप्शन क्लिक और से डार्क द सर्कल सो फॉर यू पी एस सी एंड एम पी एस सी फर्स्ट पार्ट दैट इज प्रिलिमिनरी एग्जामिनेशन विच इज कंसिस्टिंग ऑफ ओनली मल्टीपल चॉइस क्वेश्चन वेर एज इफ यू आर एबल टू क्वालिफाई I am not using word pass. I am using word here qualify for mains. Then we have written examination also. That is the mains examination. And last stage, that is personal. Uh, that we are calling interview, but it is a personality test. So personal interview, or we can call this as personality test. So these three stages are there. Now for first stage, that is. preliminary examination lot of knowledge is required we are conducting out classes for preliminary examinations for mains rather than knowledge so because you have qualified for prelim and then only you are arriving for mains that means you have knowledge but now how to present that knowledge that means uh, writing skill is important for mains and for personality test obviously your personality so basic thing that we are first focusing over preliminary examination now uh, in case of preliminary examinations the first subject that is general studies now this includes knowledge of physics chemistry biology environmental science economics political science history national freedom struggle and geography these are all academics whereas current affair so total 10 papers are there in paper 1 and we are guiding here for paper 1 paper 2 that is called as aptitude test which consists of comprehension logical reasoning analytical reasoning data interpretation then uh, decision making and problem solving communication skill interpersonal communication then uh, simple arithmetics and uh, for example for upsc they are testing your knowledge of english for mpsc they are testing your knowledge of marathi so this way paper 2 is there we are guiding for that also but uh, first stage either for upsc or for mpsc even for cds because there also gs paper is there and for nda there also gs paper is there so first stage that we are calling as preparatory batch so we are starting here coaching first with preparatory batch preparatory batch is consisting of one month course that is uh, 25 days we are considering and per day 2 hours so 50 hours total coaching is there which will uh we can say take you to the level so we can prepare for actual examination pattern so all fundamentals we are discussing in this preparatory batch so we are aware that uh, in school days everybody is not aware that what we are studying out i and what is use of this all but uh, at time of graduation or even post graduation many time we hear that okay the person is good 
fundas are very clear so what is meaning of that that school days particularly 8 9 10 standard study that is really important study so here uh, students are coming out from various streams and we are considering that whatever the stream of that student we have to consider that all should be at equal level and for that purpose preparatory batch that is there where we are going to discuss the topics there are physics chemistry biology i'm not discussing environmental science right now in this batch because uh, fundamentals are clear then only we can go for higher level and therefore environmental science requires knowledge of physics chemistry biology as well as uh, geography also and therefore we are not discussing here in preparatory batch about environmental science then uh, history but we are not discussing natural freedom struggle because we are not reaching up to that level in preparatory batch so we are discussing about history then basic of geography political science economics that and uh, to certain extent arithmetics data interpretation like that topic total 50 hours course that is there of preparatory batch whereas the preparatory batch uh, that is of one month duration and uh, two practice tests are included in the preparatory batch so when we are starting our preparatory batch at that time uh, after 15 days we are conducting out first test that is a uh, practice test which is obviously objective style multiple choice questions are there this test is there to just give introduction that what types of questions are there and how to solve tricky questions also where in preparatory batch we are under considering the marking scheme as right answer plus one mark wrong answer minus one mark and now uh, first test will be just there to give you idea where only test is not that important test must be followed by analysis of that and therefore we have to go through analysis so after the test we are carrying out analysis of that exam then student will understand yes this is the problem or this is the right thing i have performed whatever the thing and this way a confidence as well as awareness both getting generated within eight days of this we are going for second exam which is just another practice exam and at end of course that means completion of the complete course we are conducting our third test now third test is important because uh, this is also practice test but this is for ourselves we are considering as qualifying test here we have to score minimum 25 percent mark so paper is of 100 marks you have to score minimum 25 marks uh, scheme is same right answer plus one mark wrong answer minus one mark okay with that we have to carry out the test and minimum 25 marks 25 percent mark you have to score then you are eligible for main batch okay so this is not we are checking your knowledge this is what we are testing your grasping power is there bond understanding between the lecturer and student whether what lecturer is speaking that is followed by student or not what grasping is there of that subject particularly what we discussed that we want to check and for that purpose this is the case that 25 percent we have considered now keep in mind uh, the percent is very very less because uh, each and every student is not a fast learner so we are considering here all right at least 25 percent mark student should obtain then only he or she should be considered as eligible for the batch but if you are able to obtain more marks then obvious uh, my approach is somewhat capitalist approach that means if person is showing something extra then we must honor them not that we have to curtail them and for that purpose 
फिफ्टी परसेंट प्लस मार्क्स इफ पर्सन इज ऑप्टेनिंग देन ऑब्विस्ली इट इज रिवॉर्डेड रिवॉर्डेड बाय कंसेशन इन द फीस फॉर मेन बैच ओके सो फॉर मेन बैच द फीस वॉट एवर द फीस आर देअर आउट ऑफ दैट वी आर गिविंग यू कंसेशन दैट इज द efforts you have carried out during preparatory batch you have studied and studied not only uh, mug up but intellectually you have studied and therefore you are able to score more than 50% mark so if you are scoring marks more than 50% now here fraction is not there because whole number is there therefore 50 to to 59 if your marks are there in this range then you will get 5% discount in the fees if your marks are 60 to 69% double of that discount is there that is 10% discount in the fees if you are able to cross 70 that means 70 to 79 that is your percentage then you will get double of previous that is 20% discount If you are able to cross eighty, that means eighty to eighty-nine percent, then double of previous, that is forty percent discounts are there in the fees. And if you are that lucky, as well as intelligent, as well as scholar, to cross ninety percent, then no fees will be taken from you for main batch. So main batch, you are studying out absolutely free. the same scheme is valued for cds that is combined defense services and national defense services uh, nda uh, that is national defense academy entrance test both cases the uh, law is same that whatever marks you have obtained in preparatory batch you must first obtain minimum 25% mark and second thing you must obtain uh, above 50 then concession starts in the same fashion now this way uh, we are conducting out the batches so in case of preparatory batch uh, there is one month duration total fees are 5900 rupees 5000 is the fee whereas 900 is gst 18% gst is there why i am saying uh, telling you this separately because government is having right to change gst suppose a uh, new government Say that okay, we are going to abolish GST on education. Then obviously we are not taking from you. If new government says we want thirty six percent, we don't have any option. We have to take it. Therefore, I am telling you the fees plus eighteen percent GST. If you are paying a single rupee, then also you have to pay eighteen percent GST on that. So whatever GST is there, that is applicable on per amount. So five thousand is the total amount of fees. Whereas nine hundred, that is eighteen percent of five thousand, that is nine hundred is GST. So this is for preparatory batch. Now for main batch, the fees are given here. You, you can see the chart is there in front of you that I am uh, intentionally giving fees in terms of uh, per hour lecture or that per hour fees one uh, fifty rupees per hour. Plus GST, that is eighteen percent GST on that. Like that split is there. Now uh, we are considering here the total batch, main batch, that is of five hundred hours. Now uh, we are conducting out this every day from Monday to Saturday. Sunday is holiday, but particularly after Diwali vacation, on requirement. okay because something is there that is batch speed is there on requirement we can call you in uh, during sundays also but total i have to finish out 500 hours that is for main batch where we are focusing on prelim but at the simultaneously we are preparing for mains also so essay writing then uh, descriptive answers and all that there taken care simultaneously but main aim of our batch that is of preliminary examination now this way we are starting out to total fees uh, rupees 150 plus gst so 500 hours so total fees we are getting that is 
plus 18% GST on it. Now, uh, how you can pay the fees? So, we are aware of 75,000 plus 18% GST. So, first, you can pay 15,000 plus 18% GST. I am again giving you idea that GST amount may change. Fees will remain constant, but GST amount may change according to government now. So here we have to pay 15,000 plus 18% 18 GST on that. Now uh, that is for first month. So out of 75,000 you have paid 15,000. Now remaining amount that is 60,000. So per month you can pay 10,000 rupees. And this way uh, 10,000 plus 18% 18 GST. Six installments. So total in seven installments you can finish out the fees. Now is there any concession in the fees? Answer is yes. Concession. No. Concessions are there in the fees. Okay. First, as you are aware, whatever marks you are going to obtain in preparatory batch final exam, they are determining your concessions. If you are obtaining 90% or plus mark, then no fees are applicable. You can study 100% free of cost for main match. Whereas if you are obtaining say for example 50% mark then you are eligible for 5% discount. So discount is there that is counted in the last installment. Alright. So this way you can avail discount. Keep in mind always whatever the GST is there that is on the paid fees. So you are paying 5% less. So GST also reduced by 5%. Uh, means for that installment. So this way you can get double benefit that is be GST benefit also and fees benefit also. Now this way we have to pay. So first concession is there that is based on your marks obtained in preparatory batch. Second concession suppose you are uh, able to pay in a single installment or double installment then we are considering your total fees at 60,000 rupees only so 60,000 plus 18 percent GST so you can pay at a time 60,000 plus 18 percent GST on it this way you can give in single installment or if you want to pay in double installment then obvious thing is that you have to pay first 30,000 plus GST and within two months of period we have to pay 30,000 plus GST. That means uh, in total spam of three months, so first month you have paid 30,000 then I can consider one month as gap and in that last month also you have to pay same amount. Within three months if you are finishing out total amount then alright we are not charging you any installment charge. So either you can pay single installment or you can pay into installment. Then you will get straight away 15,000 rupees as a discount. That is 75,000. So here we are charging you 60,000 plus whatever the thing again same. So you may ask you why I am telling again and again. Because there are certain parents. They are saying you told that fees uh, 50,000. No, it is not 50,000. It is 50,000 plus 18%. GST always but here they are trying that we are not liable for GST like that some approach is there that's why I am again and again telling that whatever fees you are going to pay on that 18% GST is uh, right now 18% is applicable now uh, this is about UPSC civil services examinations if you are uh, if you want to join for MPSC also, then also fee structure is same. Uh, rather, I sh should say that no separate fees are there for UPSC and MPSC. In a single that fee, whatever we are charging, you are eligible for UPSC civil services examinations as well as MPSC civil services examinations. But keep in mind, if you want to appear for MPSC civil services examination, then the essential criteria that you should be able to speak, read and write Marathi language fluently. 
then only you are eligible for MPS. So uh, otherwise you can appear for exam, uh, but uh, at time of interview this is detected only. So uh, no separate fees are there for UPSC, MPSC, even for CDS also. What is my recommendation? You can, if you want, you can go for CDS exam also. All right. Now all, let us discuss about for CDS and NDA examinations. In case of CDS, we are guiding for OTA examinations completely. That is theory part. OTA that is Officers Training Academy. So we are guiding for GS that is general studies and English. So both the cases we are discussing here. So 100 mark in general studies paper and 100 mark English paper we are discussing. If you are going for NDA entrance test, then for NDA entrance test, we are discussing for paper 2 only. So paper 1 is of mathematics 300 marks, paper 2 is 600 marks GS, which is comprising of 200 marks English and 400 mark remaining study. So for NDA, our classes are focused only for theory and that is also for paper 2. Fees, same, first step you have to go, that is through preparatory batch. Second stage, that after passing out preparatory batch, you can opt for main batch. In case of main batch, uh, fees, that is again same amount, that is rupees 150 plus 18 percent GST per hour. But uh, total course is of 350 hours. And therefore, uh, multiply 350 by 150. That is the amount you have to pay. That is uh, paid in form of installments. So on the screen, you can check out the number of installments, how to pay, etc. That is given here for NDA also and CDS also same fees are there. Concession, yeah. But prior to that, keep in mind, in case of NDA or CDS, the classes, they are uh, for main batch classes are there four days a week. So total fees are there, but classes are there, they are for four days a week. But uh, that four days will be decided at time of joining of the batch because every year students from different colleges are there and some personal problems are also there so we are arranging them in such a manner that uh, according to their suggestion we are arranging the four days. Now concession same if you are scoring good marks in preparatory batch a chart is here in front of you whatever your marks accordingly you have concession in the fees. Second part, if you are paying one installment or two installments, then also concessions are there, they are there in front of you. Always keep in mind that whatever fees are there, we are charging the fees, uh, they are charged for given lectures, that is total lectures. Uh, in the list. But suppose uh, we require more lectures than the given in the list, then we are not charging any fees for that. So it is not that always for UPSC civil services classes will end after 50, uh, 500 lectures. No, maybe possible it can exceed 10 or 20 hours more also. But at that time we are not charging any fees for that 10 or 20 hour whatever the course is going to get exceed for that purpose we are not charging any fees same thing is there for CDS and NDA if hours are exceeding out then we are not charging any fees for that exceeded hours alright now this is the way we are charging fees